the most beautiful of my, my life. Lorenzo Brown, picking was criticized also. What do you think about that picking now? It was the right thing. I, mean, I can understand everybody. Everybody has their sort of opinion and I respect all of it. But, uh, when you work hard, when you have been advised by experts, coaches, sport director, uh, after the injury of Ricky Bubi, after the injury of Carlos Salafén, after Sergio Rodriguez Quiz, after the injury of Sergio Jude, uh, he was the right kid. I mean, uh, he did much more than what, what can get. I mean, he, since the first day, uh, he feel like a, like a one more in this family, as we like to call. Uh, he is perfectly, I mean, he gets, in Spain we used to say that he felt, he felt uh, standing up, so he felt the right way. And a team who, who received him like, a, like, one, like one of them, like one of us, and he's performing on the court. He shows how committed he is with, uh, with our basketball. It was his, his dream, his goal to play for Spain, and for us it's a huge honor. And I said it before the tournament, what can I say now, even, even more. Will we see Lorenzo Brown next year? He's fully committed. He's fully committed with us. He is, uh, uh, after the game, he was telling me that uh, thank you for the opportunity that he never, he never dreamed to become a champion with the world in the Spanish jersey. So uh, it's coach's decision, it's him's decision, but uh, he's fully committed. Did you expect the goal a month ago when, when the. Uh, be honest. <laughs> being totally honest, uh, I told to the players uh, that was not on the plan. We were, we were building a team for the, hopefully for the World Cup, hopefully for the Olympic Games. Qualify for this kind of tournaments is really tough now. In this, uh, in this tournament, we saw an unbelievable level of basketball. Not only France, not only Greece, not only Slovenia, not only Germany. Even teams like not typical that they have to be in this tournament, like like Estonia, like uh, a lot of them. Uh, we dream, we always dream, but uh, honestly, we, as I said, was not in the plan to win this tournament. What kind of about the what kind of contract extension will you offer to Coach Cariola now and, and how to get uh, such a bunch of money? I'm terrible negotiating because I go to the middle and I say that he's, best, he's the best national team coach in the world. So what can I say? He's, he's, he's the father of these kids. I mean, he had been here for a, for, for, a, for a life coaching the national team. He was coach of Pau Gasol, he was coach of Navarro, he was coach of Felipe Reyes. And some people say that it's easy to coach him. Now, he got a young team kid with a lot of injuries, with a lot of problems. Uh, he showed to everybody that, uh, excuse me, that I was right. And how will you celebrate? Uh, as we used to, uh, my wife is here, my daughter is here, so I just want to have a nice uh, German wine and uh, go to sleep tomorrow. We'll and the players? Up to them. No, no <laughs> winning songs? Huh? No winning songs? Uh, there's some, but uh, they're too young for me. I don't know that song. Can you tell us a few words about the difficulties of uh, the decision behind the Red Brown? Because we're talking about a uh, huge pass on the We know that some, some people would uh, like it, but uh, in my role as a person in the federation, I have to protect and improve the, the basketball. And he is not just here for playing. I would, like, I would love that you watch him in the first days of the training camp, teaching and talking to Juan Nunez, which is 18 years old, and very so so He's doing much more, much more than what, what you've seen before. I mean, he's, as I said, he's doing to the good. He's fully committed to the study of basketball. And um, I should have it was the right decision. It wasn't the right decision. Because he committed, what is committed? He committed is to, be, to play one year in Spain, or committed is to uh, lose your nationality, to play with other countries, cry like a kid, uh, play with injuries, play with pain, it's all that for the whole tournament. I cannot say more than uh, thank you. Jorge, you said uh, the world wasn't in the plans. Did you criticize the players for not going according to plan? Uh, <laughs> I never can say the player because they are here, they have families, they have kids, they have wives and girlfriends. And they spend two months of their summers uh, fighting and working extremely hard for the Spanish basketball years. They are just at the peak of the pyramid of a lot of teams, a lot of coaches, young kids, and that they love them now. So uh, it was not on the plan, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> You this is a beautiful them. story. I will forget it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Scariola told after quarterfinals that if Europe will let Spain, this Spain team win a medal, then you will be on the podium forever, maybe. Uh, so uh, when will Europe be able to, to rest from you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, be honest, uh, win this tournament make a lot of sense. I mean, we feel even more proud when you have to compete well against uh, Dennis Ferrer, when you have to compete uh, against Wagner, against Savonis, against Mark and so Yeah. Incredible player, so that gives even more value to this to this gold medal because um, 
the tournament was amazing. It was probably the best Euro basket in the, in the last years, in the last 20, 25 years. Uh, and uh, as I said, I won on the court, I won on the court, but this, this uh, is really special for, for everybody because it means a lot for, for this team and it means a lot for Spanish basketball. Did you miss more Spain fans to come here? Because it wasn't a lot. Uh, I would love it, but uh, being honest, we were checking on uh, Thursday that the planes to come, but uh, it was, all of them were packed. But the audience on TV in semi-final was amazing. Was almost 20% of the people who were watching TV was watching our games. I cannot imagine how many people were watching today in, uh, in, the, in the television in Spain. You saw Rudy wearing a Sergio Lu jersey. How sad is that that this veteran couldn't participate in this? Jules is uh, for sure an unbelievable player, but he's a great guy. He's, he's, he's the soul of this team, and uh, when he gets injured, and uh, not big injuries, but enough to uh, don't allow him to play, the team was really affected because he's much more than a player. He's much more a better, he's much more of the second captain, uh, and uh, they committed to try to win for them, for the families, for our basketball, and even for sure for the team. Coach, did you participate in the locker room somehow? Uh, we text like with him. We text each other like hundred times, and he told me that he's preparing the party. He, he will be involved. Jorge, like Coach Cariola, has four Euro basket titles in Spain. Now all four Spains. Like, how have you seen him like you know evolve as a coach? Because he seems like a different Spain team every time he brings you guys out. He's a. Uh, he's more than a coach. Uh, when he was coaching uh, Pau Gasol, when he was coaching Marc Gasol, Navarro. He adapt to them to, to make them become even better, and that was probably one of the if not the best, if not the biggest, one of the uh, bigger challenges in his career. And uh, without noise, without making any kind of uh, looking for protagonism, at the end we show that he is the perfect, the perfect uh, coach for, for our basketball, for our national team. Thank you. Thank you.